the end of 2015, Japan's greatest ever female player announced her retirement. Hamari Sawa played over 200 times for the Nadeshiko, including six FIFA Women's World Cups. <laughs> I could only manage that achievement because I was always working hard to be a top-class player. I only liked football and was fortunate enough to have a long playing career. When I played in my first World Cup at the age of 16, I never dreamt I would get the opportunity to play in six. Of these, 2011 stands out. Three months earlier, a huge earthquake and tsunami caused death and devastation along Japan's east coast. An emotional Japan team traveled to Germany. We had players who were from teams in Tohoku, which were largely affected by the earthquake. We were not really in a state to play football. Everyone had mixed feelings about it. Some of us were thinking, is it right to be playing football at this difficult time? Showing pride and passion, Japan's players defied the odds in their march to a final against favourites, the USA. And in that match, a dramatic conclusion. When you think about football matches, if there are only three minutes left in a game and you are chasing the match, although you would always try your best, it is often extremely difficult to equalise. But none of us had given in, and I had this burning desire inside me thinking, I would score a goal. I vividly remember that feeling. Having equalised in the very late stages of the game, we felt we had the momentum and we were smiling during the penalty shootout. The crowd could feel that we had the momentum too. By contrast, the USA players looked pretty nervous. It was an extraordinary atmosphere in our team. We managed to win the World Cup only because we felt a great sense of responsibility and the fans were behind us. It was definitely not only us, but all the forces involved that helped us win the tournament. It was a tournament that changed the history of women's football. There were so many obstacles on the way and it was tough. But what we achieved was the result of never giving up. Sauer was the winning captain, golden boot and golden ball winner. A remarkable year on the pitch, she was the deserving winner of the FIFA Female World Player of the Year Award. It was the first time for any Asian player let alone a Japanese player, to be crowned with such an honour. I had played at a time that it was unthinkable for Japan to win the World Cup, but I was able to prove that an Asian or Japanese player can win the Ballon d'Or. So I feel as though I established a benchmark for Asian players, and now anyone has the chance to become a Ballon d'Or winner. Four years later at Canada 2015, Japan couldn't quite reach the same heights. Sauer by now mostly used as a substitute, and Japan were beaten 5-2 in the final by the Americans. I was used to being a starter for the national side for a very long time, but in Canada 2015, this was not the case, and I played a subs role. At first, I struggled with my pride and had mixed feelings about the role. But once I decided to do my best for the team, whatever role I was playing, whether it was on the pitch or off it, I felt a lot better about the whole situation. After a life dedicated to football, Sauer is hoping others can now benefit from her experience. Hopefully, I will continue to learn a lot and the environment for women's football will continue to improve. If I could be part of the sport team to help Japan at the Tokyo Olympics in 2020 to get as many medals as possible, I would be delighted. If I can get involved in various different projects, that would be ideal. 
However, at the moment, it is hard for me to say about a particular project. It's difficult to know what to do next. 